All right, welcome back to part two of Dr. Cure lip syncing. Okay, so we did this first one. Hello there. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna do just this portion right here. You must be Dr. S. Okay, so we're gonna go to you do, you must be Dr. S. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a keyframe there for his mouth being closed. It's still closed and it's gonna be held over to this keyframe right here. And I'll just move that over just a little bit more. So right here he's gonna say you. So I'm gonna give his mouth a you position. So I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit closer. Oops. Actually, want to bring his bone. Okay. You must be. Okay, so that's his opening for you. So right here. His mouth goes close. Cl his mouth closes very quickly because it's you must. It's just straight into the next word, into the next letter or syllable or whatever. So you must. You must be, but it doesn't close that fast. It'll be somewhere right here. You must be, and it looks weird now, but it looks normal once you have everything gone. So he's gonna say must. So his mouth is gonna open again to an uh. And for. The heck of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and have his mouth oops, have the mouth width go open a little bit on must. So you must and then right here his mouth is gonna go open on the T of must. So you must. You must be dumb. You must. So, one of the things I talked about before, I'm going to put teeth in the sky very soon. I know that for a fact because <laughs> I even criticize myself too much of not having teeth in this stinking animation. But. So, actually. I gotta do my made up S for his mouth. Because it just looks weird without it. You must be dark. So you can't see it, so we'll show it just a little bit. There's the T for his goofy T's. And then it's going to go to B, so his mouth is going to be completely closed. And we'll go ahead and we'll do his mouth a little bit wider. Oh, you know what? It's probably not going to work. Uh, yeah, kind of does. So we'll just go ahead and copy that keyframe to there, to there. And we're going to open the mouth for the, again for B. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and select that. B. His tongue should not be up anymore. His tongue should be finished with its deal. So right here I'm going to have the tongue going back to its normal position. And then he's going to say doctor right here. So his mouth or his tongue is going to go like that. You must So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open his mouth up on the da. Okay, why is this not working? Select, okay. So da. And then I'm just going to have his, oops, 
So select the bone, make sure you know where the last keyframe was at. Just copy and paste that if you need to. And I'm just actually going to move that down just a little bit this way. And I'm going to put his mouth for the width into an ah shape. And obviously his tongue is in the way. Uh, so right about here his tongue is going back down. You must be Dr. Ed. You must be Doc. Okay, so his mouth is going to be kind of closing on doctor. So if you fill in your mouth and you're saying doctor, it's going da, it's opening on the first syllable, and it's closing on the second part of ter. Doc, ter. Doc, ter. So right here. So right here is where the k should be for doctor, but because it's kind of silent when you're speaking fast, there isn't one. So I'll just go ahead and create a mouth movement right, oh, right here. Control C, Control V. Uh, close the mouth a little bit, and then go ahead and put a. Freeze the keyframe. Go up with the T. Hmm. You must be Dr. S. You must be Dr. S. Okay. Okay, so his tongue, I want to be going back that way because he's finishing the T sound. And right about here, he's going into his S. And because that's weird, I gotta fix the width because I have smart bone problems right there. So there's the width. Go ahead and copy and paste that. And I'm going ahead and fix the width. Manipulate bones tool. Um, Need to open his mouth a little bit wider. Oh my gosh, why is this doing that? Okay, so that's my goofy mouth movement. Go back to the beginning. You must be Dr. S. Okay, something looks really weird. You must be Dr. S. His mouth is moving too much. This is trial and error. And being a beginner, it's kind of intimidating having other people watch what I do because I'm still unsure of my own work. Okay, so I gotta hear what's going on right here because it's really hard to tell. You must be Dr. S. Be Dr. S. So the end of the R is happening, right? Yeah, and then it just goes to S. Okay, so the end of his long S ends right about here. So I'll just create S. a keyframe right there, and then I'll close his mouth right there. So look like this. You must be Dr. S. So his mouth. Let me just move that over one more. You must be Dr. S. Closes on the S, just so it shows that his mouth is at least moving for that part. You must be Dr. S. Okay, so something is just really off. You, you must, must be. be. I am not going to have his mouth 
width move around that much. It just looks weird. Again, his width of his mouth is too wide. Maybe open his mouth a little bit wider on this. So he still hasn't closed down on his S yet, so we can still have his mouth open right here. And then we can go ahead and, that's weird, we didn't copy any keyframes. Oh, there it goes. So we can copy just that keyframe for that spot right there. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. You must be Dr. S. Mm. You must be Dr. S. I'm really trying to figure out if that looks right. Kind of running over time, so I just want to end this video. You must be Dr. S. So, for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. Um, and we'll start on part three, which is on the next... Uh, 40 or so frames.